said that it's a must for a woman to get married? Who said that at this age? Actually, nowadays it's not even 30, it's 25. Mm. If you've got 25, the questions, you know, people start yeah. asking, mm. who set those standards? I want to believe every standard has its own culture, its system, and its social systems. So within these systems, you find there are people who expect a girl in this culture and tradition, by the time she's at this age, it's a norm and expectation. And you know, for us as Africans, we cannot rule out the fact that we are products of the culture, we are a product of the community. And unlike the Western world, where somebody will become your own woman, decide as your own woman. We've got your aunties who are part of your system. You'll not ignore them. The great grandmother who is insisting I'll not die until you name me and may she live long. And you know, you, that pressure now trickles down to your mother, yeah. your sisters, yeah. and the chamas. And I said, we are a product of an ecosystem. And so being part of that system, there is somebody who will always want to put pressure. And the first question, and I believe there's a space that every single lady should be given. Don't be asked some questions. When are you getting married? When I'm later Lini, you know, there are some questions that I actually feel are rather very intrusive. I agree. Yeah, it may be that these are culture, but if somebody has not brought somebody, it's because there's nobody to bring. You get my <laughs> point? Mm -hmm. that, that is as is. So why should you insist on a lady when I'm like, Alini, tunakula pilau, Alini, you've been eating it all your life. So this is not the first pilau you're going to have. You get my point. And I know there is the joy and the excitement of marriage and what have you. But I think that intrusion into somebody's privacy is one that gives them the pressure to become and at times to land into relationships they are not quite prepared for mm -hmm. and to land into situations that they are not well nurtured for. And you discover a lot of people are not taking even time for courtship. Because by the time you meet this young man, perhaps in your mind you needed to have like two years, three years, let's have time, let me know you better, let me understand who you are. But the first great auntie who sees you together in a relative's wedding by default, will spread it. And you know, now pressure comes in. Mm -hmm. And I've sat with people who have told me, you know what? I got into this because I felt I had too many people to please, but I never pleased myself. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell a lady, in any time season of pressure, don't lose two people. Number one, don't lose yourself. Mm -hmm. And number two, don't lose your values, your goals, and your aspirations, mm -hmm. whoever and whatever your aspirations are, and your goals don't. And at the third one, I tell them, don't lose divinity. Talking now as a counselor cutting across religions. So I look at it from that perspective. Keep God, of course, to steer your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people are giving in to pressure. Other times, they look at their friends, and this is the effect that some of them have. There is own motivated pressure. You're own motivated. You've watched a, a, a relationship show and you think, hey, my color scheme should be orange and purple. My color scheme. And so the first guy who takes you out, and you know for guys, to tell you let's go have a cup of coffee, could just be let's go have a cup, just of, a coffee. cup of coffee. Just a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. But by the time a lady is done taking the cup of coffee, you're already imagining him with his wedding suit and you're already coffee. planning. <laughs> You know why? There is internal, mm -hmm. internal, mm -hmm. intra, there is internal pressure. Mm -hmm. Where your friends now, outside now the large ecosystem, <laughs> yes. now within your friends, so and so did a wedding. And you know, all of us, especially ladies, we get excited by events, we get excited by color, we get excited by the entire program and the emotions. And you're thinking, will somebody shed a tear? And so we put ourselves into their shoes. Suddenly you want to get married like yesterday. And so they go for a wedding hoping to meet a Mr. Right. And at that point, if that's your motivation, any man who comes around that system of time, you're expecting to get married and you want to get married. And so I think that's also a very big pressure among the ladies themselves. So I would say it is from outside, it is from within our own expectations. My mind knew by the time I'm 25, I'll be married. So by the time you're 24, anyone who says, 
you say I do. Mm -hmm. They have not yes, even I finished do. the sentence. Yeah. You know, like I do. You know, this this meme you reminded me of some guy who 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 gets on his knees. He's about to tie.